Hi guys, I'm Andy Moss from Moss Technical and I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough of the products for Nico Home Control on traditional cabling. So for people with existing cabling that don't want to rewire, these are the products for you. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration and a walkthrough of these products. So here we go. So these are the products we're going to be talking about today and we're going to start at the top at the internet connection. So everybody has a, if I just sit down, everybody has a router. And of course, this is connected to the internet. Now, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna connect from the router into our Nico Smart Gateway, our Smart Hub. Okay, so this has got its own unique address, its own identity, which is a MAC address and a serial number. And this is the device that is central to the Nico Home Control on traditional installation. So that connects to the internet, which means we've got smartphone control from anywhere in the world. And of course, it can get uh, its geographic coordinates, so it knows when sunrise and sunset is for turning outside lights on and things like that when it goes dark. And that's gonna be the, the brain of the installation. So moving down, we have our range of switches. Now, these are quite straightforward um, in their function. So we'll start on the left-hand side here. Um, so we have our single switch, single smart switch. Now, I don't know if you can see on the back there, we've got a live and neutral, and then the L1 is a switched live terminal, and the E1 is a pulse terminal. So at the other side of the room, you could have another switch, which uh, is just a momentary press. So when you push the other button at the other side of the room, it basically pulses the E terminal, which then turns this smart switch on. So you don't need two smart switches for a circuit. You only need one smart, uh, smart Nico wall control for a particular circuit. Okay, so the way that the wall controls go together once they're fitted is we take the wall control, we take the finishing set for them, which are available in all the Nico covers, all the Nico colors and finishes, and that snaps onto there. Then we take our surround, and our surround snaps on. Okay, once it's pressed onto the wall. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. And it's a nice little tactile micro switch feel to it. We can change the colour and the finish at any time just by popping the cover off and then putting a different one back on. So you can change your decor and change your switch finishes as you see fit. The next one I'm going to show you is the double smart switch. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we've got a, um, two buttons now on it. Okay, if we look on the back, we've got our live and our neutral coming in. Then we've got our first switch live and our second switch live with the E terminal there and the E terminal there. The E1 terminal is the pulse terminal for the first switch and the E2 terminal is the pulse terminal for the second switch for two-way configuration. So very easy to wire again. And with this one, we obviously take our buttons now. Oops. There's the first one. There's the second one. And again, we take our surround and that's the finished article. And again, we can change these as we see fit. Thirdly, we've got the universal dimmer. Now this is a dimmer that we can uh, connect our live and our switch live. We don't need a neutral in this one, okay? This is just live and switch live. Okay, and the E terminal is the two way, the pulse terminal uh, to make this a two way switch but we don't need a neutral in this. We can set all sorts of different types of load uh, from LED to transformer, leading edge and trailing edge dimming. And we, um, we can set the dim min level and um, program that accordingly. So it'll do lots of different types of, of dimmable light, dimmable load. Um, then we have the motor control though. Although this looks like a, um, a two button switch, it's actually for controlling a motor. Now we don't do two-way switching with this. This is only a one-way configuration, uh, which you would normally put next to the blind or the curtain. Uh, live and a neutral coming in, and then you've got the open and closed terminals there. Okay. And again, this time we have a different um, different button cover that goes on it. So we just pop that on there. And you can see this is laser engraved with the open and close or the, the up and down terminal, uh, the up and down symbols. Um, then we have our digital black. Now our digital black is available in 24 volts and 230 volts. Now the 230 volt version 
Same again, live and neutral with our switch live and our pulse terminal, our two-way terminal. Okay, this gets fitted to the wall. Fixings are top and bottom. Then we take our screen, and I've got another video that shows how that goes together, and then you basically put that on, and once that snaps on, I'm not gonna take the tape off, but uh, you, you get the gist. Okay. And with the digital black, you can control up to 12 different actions, so you can decide what functionality you want to put on it. It's already got its own switch terminal for its own light fitting or lighting circuit already. Um, but thereafter, you can add in things like music control and motor control. So the, cut, the, the message from this switch goes to the um, smart hub, which then in turn tells the other switches what to do. So you can have lots of functionality on the digital black. Like I say, there's, there's a few more videos on here that I've put on already uh, that show you how that works. And then lastly, we have our smart socket. Now this is a socket that can be turned on and off um, again via the smart hub itself. Okay, it receives a, a, a signal from the smart hub to turn it on and off. Uh, it is only available in the European style in the UK. We, we don't have a UK socket, but you could put an adapter in there to make it a UK socket, or of course change the plug. Um, this is not only uh, controllable by the app and via uh, the programmation from the, uh, from the smart hub uh, to turn it on and off, but we can also take an energy reading from this as well so that we can see what energy consumption is coming from the device. And we can also limit the, the, the current now. Um, this is the, the first device that enables you to say the maximum current allowed to be drawn through this is whatever current, and then you can limit that, to, that current there uh, so it can't be overloaded. Uh, most of you in the electrical industry will, will understand that you can't protect against the general overload in electrics. It's all to do with design. So you could technically uh, put a 13 amp load in every single socket in the house. Now, um, you, you, you're not meant to do that because of course you limit it by the design because of course it's only protected in the UK by a 32 amp um, circuit breaker. So this uh, socket can actually cut the power at a particular level and it can also send you a message via the Nico smart hub that that has actually happened so it can tell you if something's drawing too much current. So it's quite a useful little device, it's more than just a socket. Um, like I say, only available in the UK in the European style uh, with the center earth pin, uh, but you could uh, choose to put an adapter in there, a UK adapter, almost like a travel adapter, I suppose, uh, to turn it into a UK plug or uh, put a European plug on it. Uh, lastly then, we have the battery operated motion detector. And again, this is more than just a motion detector. This is an indoor detector um, that can tell the switches to turn on and off if there's motion or the dimmers. So in other words, it acts like a lighting sensor but if you've activated an all-off function, it can also act like a security detector as well. Um, we can do various conditions with this so that if there's no movement or activity by a certain time in the morning, say a parent is normally meant to be up at nine o'clock, uh, normally up and about, if there's no movement by say 10 o'clock, this can then uh, register that and then the smart hub can send you a notification to say you might want to check on, on mom or dad. Um, so it's more than just a, a motion sensor. Hi guys, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and found that useful. Um, if you want to know more information, give us a shout on 01656 746 or on www.homecontrol.uk.com. Uh, we can help you get into the industry if you're an electrician and interested in installing Nico products. Uh, we offer training courses, uh, so do get in touch. And if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.